Hello, so in this part 3 I will show you how I call this auto updater from the from my application. So the application is XR Free Player. So in the resources folder, this is the Eclipse project right here, I have uh, added XR Free Player updater .jar, which is a project here I have shown you on the previous tutorial part 2. I have exported it it as a jar file and I have added here on the resources of the application of the main application so I have added it here what I'm doing basically is when I detect an update I am exporting this jar file in the same folder on which my application is then it starts and it does all the work you have seen before so I have the code for this I have written the code for this it is right here so when it is detecting an update I will show you in the part 4 how I'm doing all this thing with the, with the update detecting it so this is the code I'm using here I'm starting the updater right here from the main application and here it is the code that I'm using to copy you see the resource here to the current directory so if I click here we can see the code which is actually a, a file.copy resource to a file so here I'm doing the same thing as I have shown you in the part 2 I am calling with process builder the extra free player updater dot jar I'm waiting for it to print a line which is saying application started and I'm ex exiting the main application so this is how it's done in the part 4 I will show you how I detect the updates and how you can do that away let me stop it